Today, we're here at Battersea Cats and Dogs Home to discuss the EFRA report released last week, which included a detailed review of the 2006 Animal Welfare Act, which protects all animals under the care of humans. Here, they take an average of nine dogs a day into their care, many of whom have suffered in ways the Act aims to avoid. The report raised some important points, but the issues are far wider than poor ownership, namely legislation around dog theft. We spoke to Battersea's dog law expert to ask his thoughts. In law, a dog is regarded as a chattel, so it's an item or a thing. Now, I appreciate that to a dog owner, um, that's one of the most important possessions they have and is probably part of the family. But in the eyes of the law, it has no higher status than a table, a chair or indeed a plate. Um, when it comes to theft of dogs, which of course we all hear is on the rise, the Crown Court and the Magistrates Court will regard that as a chattel. It's just something else that can be stolen by a thief. The report did outline some important points on restrictions that should be placed on dog breeders. Something needs to be done and if the government is able to increase the numbers of breeders that come into the, the licensing regime, that can do nothing but good. So we very much applaud the, the committee's recommendations that the threshold for when a breeder needs to be licensed should be reduced from five litres a year right down to two or more litres a year.